Hey hubby hackers, Delise here, hubby hacker extraordinaire. I have been married for 26 years and I have so much knowledge to share with you. Are you frustrated in your marriage? Are you at your wit's end? Or are you seeing all these videos and getting kind of fearful about what marriage might have in store for you when you do get married? Well, I'm here to encourage you not to be fearful and i'm here to encourage you if you are in the midst of chaos in your relationship that there is hope and that there is a way out the only thing you are missing is information and then the application of that information which turns into wisdom unto you when you walk it out i want you to imagine a huge canyon you're standing on one side and you're stressed about your relationship or you're in fear of what marriage may have in store because you know about the divorce rate you hear other women complaining and talking about how much dissatisfaction they have in their relationship on the other side of the canyon is you and your dream husband and if you're already married yes it's the man you're married to you marry him for a reason because you know that he is a good man you have just dealt with with some traumas and flaws in you and in him that you need to work through. If your husband is not willing to go to therapy with you, not willing to go to counseling with you, what I have to share with you does not require that you both are involved. It only requires one and the woman can be that one. I was raised by a single mother, so I consider myself a first generation wife and my niche is to speak to other women like me. Other strong-willed women who naturally become strong-willed because they were raised by a single independent woman who put bread on the table, who paid all the bills by herself. And those things, although positive because it was necessary because the man wasn't there, can create some challenges and some obstacles for us who do want to learn how to become wives and how to do um, a better job at keeping the husband right and staying attracted and staying attached and staying best friends as opposed to just being in this legal contract that we maybe are regretting because we're so miserable well hang on sis i have the knowledge i have the instructions i have 26 years of failing over and over again just to the point of divorce without actually doing it because we chose to honor our covenant and make divorce not an option and we've been really close um a few times and there are true hubby hacker tips when i say that i don't want you to think i'm talking about controlling your husband or manipulating your husband i'm talking about controlling yourself and changing your perspective in a lot of things and when that happens the miracles that will take place in your husband transforming into the man that you originally saw in him when you said yes to marrying him uh, begin, begins to manifest and then the opportunity and the expectation and the results that you'll get um, really bring something above and beyond what you ever could have wished and hoped for. So I am here. We're back at that canyon of the two halves of land and you're standing on one side. Imagine there are sharks down in the water in the middle of the canyon and they are thirsty for blood and you disrespecting each other and not loving each other, not understanding each other's communication style and love languages. Um, is you getting closer to falling off the edge. So what I'm here to do is to build a step ladder to the other side where your marriage is peaceful, happy, mature, and thriving. And on my steps are two guardrails and those guardrails are love and respect. Now I'm gonna take you through my framework when you sign up for my classes, when you go to the school app and um, register in the, uh, the Art of Marriage, which is my school account, and start reading and participating in my daily posts. And soon we're gonna be taking a lot deeper into classroom time and meetings and um, webinars. Uh, my framework is gonna take you step by step from this side of the canyon over those sharks that are thirsty for blood and every time you disrespect or don't love each other um some blood drops down into the water and the sharks get more aggressive and they feel like they're getting closer and your marriage feels like it's that much closer to not surviving so i want you to go on these steps with me and go on the steps with the guardrails because as you learn to work through your trauma with each other um 
and how to respect one another and love one another and pull the best out of each other. Um, and it's not your job, wife, to focus on this trauma. Something that I learned that has really revolutionized my marriage is my husband's inner child, his scars, his trauma is none of my business. It is my job to speak to the king in him and then give the trauma to the Lord and let the Lord convict him and teach him and, and hug him and grow him and raise him up we have to learn how to reparent ourselves so there's a lot of content really a lifetime of content i can't teach you how to become a better wife because that would take a lifetime but what i can do is talk to you about these concepts so that you can have your own personal aha moments and start to apply them in your marriage so remember the steps that i'm going to take you through which i will introduce to you as you become one of um my classmates in the art of marriage all of this based off the book that I wrote five years ago, Growing into a Mature Marriage from Kindergarten to College. Each step is a grade and then there's elements on each step. But the most important thing is those guardrails of love and respect. Because when the guardrails come down and you disrespect each other, you start yelling and screaming and threatening and shutting down. Now you're that much closer to falling off of the steps down into the pit of sharks, which is Divorce Canyon. And we don't want that. Again, my name is Delise Collins. Thank you for listening to this video. I know it's quite long. Uh, six minutes now, so I'm going to wrap it up. Go to the school app, The Art of Marriage. I'll put a link on this post and let's join together to make this world a better place, one marriage at a time. Here's to my hubby hackers. I hope you become a hubby hacker with me and the other women that are involved in my little group, soon to be an amazingly large group. God is good. Love you, sis. Click the link. See you in class.